some of the water that you're seeing has come through hundreds of feet of rock before you're seeing it drip now. And the different formations come from the different ways that the water travels through the stone. So for instance, on this wall over here, this is called flow stone. And it's made when that water drips down and seeps over the stone. And the red comes from iron mixing with the mineral. And then above it are these long skinny ones, and they're called soda straws. This is actually hollow, just like a straw is. And they're made with the water drip straight down and forms a tube like that. On the other side, you can see the one we've been talking about, a stalactite is dripping, and a stalagmite is getting dripped on. And then a kind of Cajun favorite is this blue one up here. This is called cave bacon. <laughs> it's made when the water goes down a slanted angle like that so many times that it creates a sheet. So what's wonderful about caves is when you get such a variety of these different formations. Now make it so interesting. One of the most interesting formations to me is this one above our heads. These are called helictites. And helictites can grow sideways or upwards or curlicue. They don't really seem to regard gravity very much. Can you guys even guess how they would form using the water? <coughs> yeah, I'm right there with you guys. We don't know how helictites <coughs> form. The kind of mystery that the cave offers to us. Um, we have different theories about how they might. But we can't really explain why a curly one will grow right next to a straight one. It doesn't make very much sense. And they grow so slowly that it's hard to record how they do. Many caves in the world will have some helictites, but very few caves have them in the same quantity that we do.